Okay, day two of the Commonwealth Games. Saturday afternoon, 3.30. Here we are. Just outside the library. Your Saturday, or should I say, day two fix of the Commonwealth. <laughs> well, this is, as a result of the Commonwealth Games, let's be frank about it, it'll be almost empty at this time, even on a Saturday. So as I said to you, there might be something different every day. If you're bored with it, you don't have to watch it. But I want you to see. Well, I hope you will look. I tried to get a drink, a tonic water, in the B. Dot eats you see over there the symphony hall it's a really nice restaurant opened a week ago go in there i mean a cappuccino two pound fifty it's an excellent restaurant also have the booking office in there now they have moved it so be aware if you come to the symphony hall yes my tonic water you know how boring i am i like a glass of wine occasionally i probably have a one glass a week. I cannot drink, to be honest with you. Even when I was younger, I would have one lager, a can of lager, and I would be drunk, and I'd fall asleep for three, four, five hours. So I don't drink in the daytime, and I don't drink at night. Have a look over here. I thought yesterday was busy. You saw this yesterday? Ah, it's funny because I had someone in there yesterday and they were operating it and you saw the things move and the red eyes and lots of things. They say it's staying here to be honest. So this is what they do. They just drive it around. You have never seen Birmingham like this. I'm almost hitting the brick wall there, guys. I, I see someone on the, on the camera and, and you know, I just, you just, I just don't walk in front of them. It's just, again, the polite thing to do. Then there's another one and, and another one. But if you'd witnessed, as we, I told you yesterday, what I went through to film Lenny Henry the other night, it, I mean, it was <laughs> climbing on my shoulders almost. This hotel should be finished at the end of this year. And all that area there will be open. And here is the old hotel. Moving over to there will come down. Um, but they will be coming in from the back end there. So it won't interfere with this area at all. Apart from the noise, obviously. Yes, the crowds yesterday, apparently, they were shipping them in on buses and coaches from the stadium, obviously. That's why we saw so many, which is, and it's a free bus ride, apparently, from the stadium, which is good business, because local businesses are going to benefit from them coming into the city centre. You see they've made a, an area here a couple of days ago which is very good. One way the builders just made an area and did it so quickly and it even looks quite nice if you walk through it. Which you, this can be a busy area anytime so really nice of them. 
to have done this when I get this little piece of equipment it was only 10 pounds from it's coming from China it's a TJI remember I was looking for a quarter inch screw which I don't have to worry about now DJI it's a little outer case and you can put this little camera in and then I can as intended remember this week I filmed I can put my plug for my extension microphone so the microphone will be under the, my collar so you would hear me a lot better especially when I'm wearing a mask and I can also then use this extension lead but I think it's going to take a couple of weeks it's coming from China at the moment obviously I'm holding this out to get the best view for you and well, that's good they've got marshals keeping people to the left that's new so holding one's arm out trying to get the best view for you obviously it's quite away from my voice from my mouth obviously so it'll make it even more distorted but I, I played it back it was okay yesterday yes yeah, so I would never go out even three months ago in crowds like this I was you know I, I'll be honest I was just too frightened so you get the atmosphere little girl there with one of those hats that I showed you from the mega store they're really cute 15 pounds and they look fabulous well I wouldn't wear one but <laughs> just to get attention I mean it would be nice if people noticed me occasionally but um, I always find you get to a certain age and uh, that's it <laughs> but I love I love vlogging I love filming there's finally one famous New York vlogger I won't mention his name but he's not interested in um, like photography cinematography and films and TV and he's a great vlogger and I am, you know, as you know, I've spoken to you about it. I have my own projector, my own company. I've worked for people throughout my 20s and 30s filming when, as you know, I had half a ton projector and all the equipment to carry all over England. And I've always been fascinated by videography, photography, directing, producing. It's always fascinated me. If I see someone on location filming something, I won't be one of those people who try to get in, in the camera, but I, my legs go to jelly. I just, the whole thing fascinates me. When they did a, a TV series here last year, the, the equipment they needed, I've never, it's just unbelievable. It was a Netflix series, please, a bit like the bill. Well, I'm not sure where they put these. Oh, I, I see. This is being cleared away now. You see these barriers? They had the, the marathons this morning. The little girl was fascinated by the camera. But yes, it's you taking in the atmosphere. Look, it's just as if you were here. It's a different day. Yeah, they do it from behind. 
But it is, as you know, it's a small, very light little selfie stick, tiny one with a four inch camera, so very inconspicuous. It's what I prefer over massive gimbals. I mean, most people use gimbals to broadcast live. You need a gimbal, obviously. But some, quite a few vloggers don't, they broadcast like me, but they still use the gimbal because the TDI Pocket 2, as I've told you before, the, the screen is half an inch and I need to wear glasses, but I've got a mask on, so I can't put the glasses on because they steam up. So I'm looking at a half inch screen without my glasses on. <laughs> But I, I've got confident with it now, and I've, I've got used to it, and I know. I'll just show you this, guys. It's a, you know, the armed um, police force here. It's so strange, isn't it? You know, the carrying guns. Yeah, so half inch screen. Uh, yes, you, I am. Can you record me? I am. Yes, I can, can if you want me to. Yes, hello. Hello. Hey, hello. Hello to heaven. Are you watching. having a great time? Yes, I'm having a very good time. Where are you from? I'm from Wheelie Castle. Are you? Do you want the? Do you want to watch this tonight on on the YouTube channel? If they ask, bless them. I, I've been doing it, as you know, for nearly a year now. I'm not going through the centre. I wouldn't go through there for a million pounds. Um, I had, as you know two fingers from someone in his 30s with his two buddies men of course um, in a year and I don't think oh I've had men again swear at me I don't want to be on your effing channel they were actually on the other side of the road miles away from me but they just wanted to say something again three three men maybe mid-twenties most young people were fine as you know guys I know you are bless you and most men, whatever age group you are, 99% plus are fine. It's just the odd one, isn't it, guys? Which, you know, that's life, isn't it? It'd be strange if we're all the same. Although I don't see any reason for being abusive, but, you know, there you go. It's really buzzing today. Really, really buzzing. And if you look at my last video, that's where Prince Charles, you see the food huts, that's where he got his free food, a box of food they handed him, which you will see if you watch the last video, which I might add, guys, it did take one and a half days to go through. I nearly posted it last night. So that's where Prince Charles got his, his free food. Maybe I should go there and ask for my box of free food and say, well, I'm vlogging my time and money. Uh, maybe I can just have one free cake. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that, but yes, if you noticed on the video, he got a free box of food and various things which he immediately handed to someone who's obviously with him, guarding him. So you had the two marathons here this early this morning and they are just clearing it all away. There were thousands of people out watching them. Amazing. A 
and they came through there. This morning, the men's and women's. So I'm not going to go back the way we came from, repeating it over there. I'm going to go a quiet way back, switch the camera off, and then I'm not going against all those thousands of people again. We will pop over to Brindley Place again today and just show you the city centre. We might take a short trip down Broad Street and um, see you soon guys. Bye bye. Came back from the centre, well Victoria Square, and we just caught the ball, as you know, the raging ball switched on, and it's not very happy. And a lot later, it's quarter past four. Look at this, thousands of people. 
so vibrant and wonderful and beautiful to see. Behave yourself, Paul. Starting to rain again, guys. I'm going over to get a tonic water. Oh, it looks like we've got some athletes here. Oh, South Africa. Look. South Africa. It's funny, when you see these athletes on TV and now they look so different. South African team. Going down there. I just missed. See? They look so fit. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's on YouTube. Hello, say hello. Hello. Are you enjoying enjoying the games? Enjoy, yeah, yeah, it's very good. Do you live in Birmingham? Wolverhampton. Oh do you? Yeah, well we're just around the corner. So okay, isn't it wonderful to see? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just I mean, Good to see the city coming together, a lot yeah. of people, it's always beautiful. Yeah, it's a beautiful city, isn't it, Birmingham? Yeah, it is, it is. So how long does it take you to get here? Uh, it's only uh, 25 minutes by 25 car. minutes? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Well, you're going to be on YouTube tonight now. <laughs> so, um, let me just say hello. Sorry. Sorry. That's okay. Just had a quick light drink. It's 10 to 5. I missed the uh, light shower, stayed there for a little while, still very very busy. Let's go along to Brindley Place and um, cut through Broad Street. As I said, I won't go into or well, through the Symphony Hall because of security. I was just looking out onto this from the rep theatre and just thinking again, isn't it amazing for Birmingham? I mean, it's 11 days. They have been looking forward to it for years. They only had four years because I'm not sure which country, I'm sure you would know, could not host the Commonwealth Games and normally a country are given seven years so well done Birmingham they did it in four they stepped in but normal countries they have seven years in advance so what can one say but it's just to Gonna call this the um, Commonwealth Games Fix Day Two. As if you were here, I'm going to post this as soon as I get home. Now, the time I edit and post, it will be half past five. It will be in a low resolution, 360, and then I'm not sure when. YouTube will allow it to be posted in 1080 HD. At the moment, for some reason, it's taking four hours. So possibly 9, 10, 11 o'clock tonight, I will then post it public and you can watch it. I'm going to get in the road here. I don't want to get run over, but it is so busy. Back again guys, copyright music, had to switch off walking through towards Brindley Place. Very, very busy.
So this is about three minutes from, as you know, where I live. We fight our way through. Remember not to pan over. They are new, those chairs and tables here. Yeah. Beautiful restaurant. And here we are. on a deck chair. It's quite mild obviously. 65 degrees. Watch the big screen and uh, get some food and drink there or cafes around restaurants. You want a very good meal. Restaurants here. Yeah. Isn't it wonderful? I nearly fell in the fountain there. <laughs> So well, that's it guys, I'm going to sign off now, day two, see you soon, take care, bye bye.